All right. Back in. Wait, if you want to uh, take it away. I assume we're yeah. probably going to start with Steve. Yeah. Thanks, Will. Yeah. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, George. Uh, you had a busy night at the office today. Um, just want to ask you, like, that that first half, um, Charlotte, I mean, it was a great goal by Carroll. It seemed to be against the run of play. Uh, even if you all had been able to defend that lead and, and, and take home a point, three points, it, it still seemed like you were going to have, uh, you know, nightmares of uh, Julio, Savarino, Gomez, Ruiz, you know, just coming in at you. Did it, I mean, that's what it looked like from the outside here. Is that just normal game for you or was were you seeing a, a you know did you feel like you were under fire as well yeah I mean the game when you watch it it doesn't really lie I mean obviously I was a, a little bit more busy than probably we would have liked as a team tonight um but you know I've, as I've said previously I'm I want to play my role to the best of my ability and that's going to look different on different nights so sometimes it's going to be being busy with my feet some nights it's going to be you know being busy taking crosses or like tonight maybe making more saves um but, you know, that's not ultimately probably what we want as a team to be giving up, you know, so many opportunities. So, uh, you know, we got to look back at the film and uh, they've got very dangerous, explosive players as they, you know, showed tonight. Um, but, you know, we think that if we come in with the right attitude and effort and, um, you know, play tactically how we need to, we should be able to limit their chances a lot more than we did tonight. And uh, I mean, it, it's kind of a conundrum there when, uh, as a player, you want to play, you want to have action and stuff. But when you're the goalkeeper, if you're seeing that much action, um, it can be, you know, a, a downside of the defense if they're allowing that many shots, that many shots on goal. I mean, I thought you played brilliantly, but you're having to do that, you know, doesn't portend well for the, the whole of the game. Uh, do you see it that way as well? I mean, can you be satisfied with a quiet night? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I play goalkeeper. I love making saves. I love, you know, doing things in the game. But at the end of the day, it's a team game. And, you know, I play for Charlotte FC and I want the best for Charlotte FC. So a lot of times that's going to mean, yeah, more quiet nights, um, which I, I foresee for us in the future when we continue building the right way. Um, but, you know, I think it's it's tough to really, you know, pick people or units out. It's, it's all together. You know, you defend from from front to back and back to front. And, you know, the goalkeeper's part of that. I'm the last line of defense and, you know, still let three goals in tonight. So there's, um, you know, there's a lot of introspective, you know, reflection that needs to go on tonight. And, you know, we'll try and do that, take the lessons um, like we would any game and and move forward to Colorado next week, which is going to be another strong game. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of goalkeepers, a lot of different personalities over the years from the top international players uh, to professional leagues, you know, it's in the college game and stuff. There are some who are very loud, very yell. They're always like castigating their defenders. And, and uh, you know, a lot of them, you know, like blame assessment. They're always, you know, screaming in somewhat what I felt were negative ways. You seem to be very calm and, you know, to take more of a positive focus with your defenders. Is that something that you consciously focus on? It's not necessarily positive. It's just giving the information, you know, in a constructive way, in a way that's building towards like a win or, you know, the right outcome for us in the game. You know, me just screaming at my defender, maybe just for show or, um, you know, out of my emotion in the moment is is probably not the best for the team. So if something needs to be said to one of my defenders and I can affect them positively as the game goes on, I'm obviously going to say it. Um, but, you know, like I said, there's uh you know, reflection going on in the moment, there's reflection that's going to go on after the game. So um, I think it's better to usually just move on to the next action and continue on with the game. Great. Thank you very much. Safe travels home. All right. We'll move to Sam. Uh, George, sorry about the loss. Um, I did want to know, you know, in this sort of situation where you have to do so much work and, uh, you know, the clear, clearly made some some big plays and, and stepped up, um, do you do you ever feel let down like what goes through your head you might not be verbally expressing um you know like you said in your last answer but um you know do, do you do you ever feel like um uh man i want the the guys in front of me to make it easier for me no 
I just not really thought that comes to my head. I mean, usually probably looking inward at my own performance first, you know, there's always going to be things I can improve, especially when I give up a goal, much less three goals. Um, so I'm going to have a lot to tape uh, to look at tonight and whether that's the positive actions, the negative actions, um, I, I could have done a lot more tonight. Um, but like I said earlier, we're one unit, we work together and that's not only just the defensive unit, that's uh, the entire team from front to back. So we've got to figure this thing out together and, you know, get results going back in the direction that we want them to. Um, but now it's, like I said, it's I love these guys off the field, on the field, and uh, those are not really thoughts that pop in my mind. And and in general, um, you know, uh, you've you've had good games, bad games, wins, losses, draws. Um, how have you liked being the starter for the past uh, four four matches, four or five? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, you know, everyone wants to play. That's the name of the game. You you don't do this to sit on the bench or um, not be involved. So. It's an honor for me to, you know, have the trust of the staff, have the trust of the rest of the players um, and, you know, to go out with the Charlotte FC crest on my chest is it's really proud moments for me. Um, but obviously it makes it a lot sweeter when, you know, you can get the results that you want. So I think I'm learning individually just as the team is is growing and learning. Um, and I, I hope that we can continue that for as long as possible. Great. Thanks. And uh, safe travels. Thanks. All right. We'll go to Mikhail next. Hey, Miko here from Charlotte FC Brazil. Uh, from your point of view, what do you think was the biggest difference in the team's attitude in the first half as opposed to the second half? Um, you know, I think there was definitely differences, but I think there was probably some issues throughout the, you know, entire performance. Um, you know, I'll be the first to say, coach will probably be the first to say that, you know, we didn't come out as positively and as aggressively as we would have liked to tonight. And that, you know, continued through the entire game is, you know, they dominated a lot of the 50 fifties and the, and the second balls. Um, and you know, that those statistics usually result in, in good results for, you know, whichever team is dominating them. Um, so I think, uh, you know, the first half, not to say we were lucky, but, you know, we weathered the storm a little bit and were able to play and get some chances for ourselves. Um, but, you know, coming out of the second half, they just, uh, you know, they had a little bit more than us in the tank, whether that was physically, mentally, and, uh, you know, we were really, really under it there for a, a good 15, 20 minute spell. And, you know, we've got to learn from that how to, you know, find other options so that we can keep the ball and, you know, give our defenders a rest from, you know, running back and forth because we give position, possession away too cheaply. Um, and that, you know, that starts for me and that goes from to the defenders and midfielders and strikers. So, like I said, a lot of film to look at. Latazio was really emphasize, uh, emphasizing energy being a, a really big issue in this half, saying that we weren't playing with as much energy as the game demanded. Would you agree with that? Do you think that was, a, if not the biggest mistake we made, one of the biggest? Yeah, I mean, for me, the coach deals with the tactics. He He sets the team up and, you know, we've got to, you know, employ them in the best way possible. But ultimately I feel like a role for me and other, you know, more senior players on the team is to make sure that the attitude and effort is right. That is, you know, absolutely always going to fall under the player's responsibility. Um, and, you know, I think as a group, we fell short on that tonight. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Then we'll end it with Nick. All right. Thanks. Hey, George, you talked about watching film. Kind of wanted to know kind of what, what is your process from this? Because obviously you want to learn from this and learn as a team together. Do you all, I mean, are you going to be watching film on the on the plane ride home? Do you first thing in the morning, get everybody together, you all watch and break down what it was, was the breakdown and how you can correct it? Like, how does that work? Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be a little bit of individual analysis tonight. I mean, obviously we're all competitors. We want to improve. We're looking for the next leg up. So a lot of us, you know, will, We'll watch back the game and individual clips by ourselves tonight. Um, you know, we're obviously going to be on a plane for a good portion, so we won't have the game. Um, so guys will probably try to get their mind off it and reset and get back to it tomorrow. Um, but, you know, I know the coaches will be analyzing immediately and they'll, you know, bring fantastic insights for us next week. And, you know, Aaron Hyde, our goalkeeper coach, does a great job on the goalkeeping side. And, you know, he'll have a lot of clips pulled of, you know, things to continue doing good things. But, um other things that I need to clean up and improve tonight so that, you know, we can improve our performances. Going on. And then how do you, as, as the goalkeeper and kind of the leader from the back, how do you instill and help everybody grow mentally from this lesson of this game? 
you know, I think just reinforcing the attitude piece. I mean, I'm still a younger player in the team, but I'd like to think that I, you know, have a leadership role as, you know, the guy playing in the moment and as, you know, a prominent young guy in the team. Um, so carrying myself in the right way and, you know, not letting this loss or this performance affect us for too long. Um, but, you know, keeping the pain a little bit fresh from this, you know, as we go into the next week and realizing we don't want to be in these situations where, you know, we felt like we could have done more. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just a lot of managing the energy, the, the team through the week, making training incredibly hard um, on ourselves so that on the weekend, it's a little bit easier than it was tonight. Thanks, George. Have a safe trip. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys uh, for staying up with us late tonight. Uh, we will see you guys 